What's up guys, Isaac here. Let's talk about the availability misweighing tendency. We tend to put greater stock into the things that are available in our minds. When something is recalled, we tend to think that it's important. Why else then would we remember it? The problem is that our memories tend to be very subjective. We do not always recall the details as they were. Memories are heavily influenced by our emotional state at the time. So for complex problems that require an objective mind, this tendency can be incredibly disastrous. Think of someone who's lost money gambling. This person probably keeps gambling. And why do they keep gambling? In their mind, they remember that one time, that one time they won a lot of money. The one time they made it big and showed off to their friends and had a good time. They forget about all the small losses they had in between them, all the other losses that add up. They forget that they've actually lost more than they've won. But because they remember that one time, that's what is easily available to them, they think that they are inherently good at gambling. So they make the decision to keep gambling. And this is a disastrous decision because of this tendency. Think of someone who's watched air crash investigations. These people tend to be scared shitless of getting on a plane. Now why are they scared of getting on a plane and yet they commute to work every day? They probably have no problem driving a car to work every day. Well here's the thing, the stats show us that you are far more likely to die in a car crash than to die in a plane crash. But because of the availability of the information of plane crashes in their mind, they ignore this stat, they ignore this fact, and all they can think about is the plane crashing. If you were to go out to the street right now and ask someone what they believe is the biggest threat right now, a lot of people would tell you that it's ISIS or it's various terrorist groups or the threat of World War III. They wouldn't tell you about cancer or people that don't have clean drinking water, even though cancer kills millions of people more than terrorists ever will. At the forefront of their mind is ISIS. At the forefront of their mind is all these militant jihadist terrorist groups because of the media. They believe that those are the biggest threats. Once again, another example of this tendency. There's different ways that we can avoid this tendency. The best way is to look at raw data and face the facts. If you're going to make a big decision that requires objectivity, you need the stats, you need the data in front of you. Another way to prevent this tendency from influencing your decision is to have a bunch of other people make decisions with you. If you have to make a big decision, six minds or seven minds is better than one mind because the other minds in your group might be able to pick up on things that you did not see. They might be able to find gaps in your logic and this is a very valuable thing. Checklists can be of great benefit as well if you are trying to avoid this tendency. Before checklists were made legislation in the aviation industry before it was a requirement for every pilot to go through a checklist there were a lot more plane crashes planes were falling out of the sky the reason why is because the human mind is incredibly bad at remembering a number of different things at any given time some of the things that you will have to do would seem more important than others so all these pilots were forgetting to do some seemingly in insignificant things which ended up making these planes fall out of the sky. So you cannot trust the human intuition. You have to make a checklist. That way you cannot be influenced by this bias at all. If you like the video, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you give this a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, why the fuck haven't you subscribed? We're doing good things over here. And anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Peace. Just do it!